What is up, Panda YouTube? We are back with more things that don't make sense in Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm pretty sure a lot of things don't make sense to me, but we're going to look at it, react to it, and see if we can figure it out. Infinite Bits. You guys remember that YouTube channel that made the 30 things that don't make sense about Smash Ultimate? The one that I thoroughly debunked front to back? He made another video. He had the audacity to challenge us once again with 30 things that supposedly don't make sense. I'll be the judge of that. So if you guys do enjoy content like share subscribe turn on the bell notification and let's get into the video how come in the big blue stage during the loop-de-loop -loop section Loopy the doop. characters aren't affected by the change in gravity at all oh completely upside down they're bro. jumping like normal they because they got them they got them sneakers bro they got them gravity sneakers it's like dragon ball g-forces they're going very fast it's like 900 kilometers. That would be really difficult. You would just fly. I mean, this. I guess the stage could turn, but then that would suck. Or what's up with the clouds in the Magicant stage? What is this stage? This is the only surface where you randomly can get spiked right through the floor. Oh, that's actually not messed up. It's not either, and not even other cloud stages work like this. That's pink clouds, though. That's why. Oh, wow. Magic. This place doesn't even exist. It's in Ness's mind. I didn't know that, actually. That one's fair. Last time, we looked at unusual occurrences, like how characters with masks... Oh, is that dim sum? Even robots are able to eat food, or how water-type Pokemon can... <laughs> That's funny. ...even swim. Yes, oh my God. to the series where we take a look at video games in a literal manner. This time, we're looking at 30 more things that don't make sense. In All right, this is already going to be fun. So the metal box item in this game turns any character into metal. Yeah, and you become heavy. Attributes like weighing a lot more and your character doesn't talk now. So given that, how is Metal Jigglypuff still able to put people asleep by singing her song? The Metal Box... Does it slowly engulf you? I've never noticed that. Yeah, they don't talk. Hmm. Interesting. I like that one. That one's facts. It's vibrations. She vibrates. When she doesn't make any noise now? No, she's vibrating. It's like a tuning fork. Mind control. Okay? It's mind control. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Speaking of Jigglypuff, what is going on with her rest move? It is one of the strongest attacks in the game, yet to perform this incredible feat, all she does is just go to sleep. Yeah. It's like, what? She takes a snooze in front of you, yet you go flying and even somehow grow a flower on your head, too? How come oh, I didn't know she could grow flowers. Smash That's cool. I've read this somewhere. It's something to do with energy, and she expends it all, and then she has to take a nap. I don't get it either. I don't play Pokemon. If I had, if I could overexert myself and deal 40% to someone, I would immediately fall asleep. All the I'm sure there's a good the reason. Bros universe don't have any weight to them. I performed a very scientific test by using this scale, mm -hmm. yet it didn't move at all. Sandbags That's funny. Wait, I thought they did. That one's weird. Even a giant hammer, heavy sandbags, or wooden crates are totally weightless here. Remember last video? This is all a simulation. It's not real. You're not playing the actual character, and so those items aren't real. Most characters that have a tether grab can also use that tether to yeah. grab onto the ledge as well. But it doesn't make sense how some characters can, while others can't. Like, how is Luigi just not able to use his oh, on the ledge? Oh, yeah, that's true. It should stick. Fit. He doesn't deserve it. Character would be ridiculous. Nope, I, I stand by this one. That would be terrible. Oh, my God. Look at the athleticism. Yahoo! <laughs> nope. uh, what's really weird is how Isabel has a fishing rod that she can use as a tether, yeah. yet Steve can't use his fishing rod. Well, you can't grab the ledge from the floor typically, so that one makes sense. Isabelle's is bought from a store. Steve crafted his himself, and it's not of high craftsmanship. You ever heard of Pokemon, the old, the old rod, great rod, and super rod? That's what it is, bro. Minecraft Steve just got the old rod, while Isabel got the super rod. Another thing with the tethers is how do they stretch to pretty ridiculous lengths when grabbing the ledge? It could kind of make mean? sense for the energy-based ones, but take a look at how big Ivysaur's tether is. Yeah. Aren't these vines a part of his body? <laughs> Ivysaur's got some hidden some hidden vines. You don't know about what's under the, we don't know what's under the leaves, what's in the bulb. 
Weirdest of all, though, is the snake. <laughs> I love Damn, that snake. Now that looks painful. For the <laughs> I didn't realize it was that big. Oh my god. Yeah, that snake is Damn, funny. Now that looks painful. That's a snake long snake. What's with the water in the Hannonbow stage? What do you mean? It's all an illusion. You can't even swim in it at all. It's not this real water. The only stage where the water acts like this. It's like Moses is parting the seas as you fall in it. No, it's not real water. It's just like sound waves, right? Like this game is in 2D, I think, this stage. As it is. sounds like it looks like now sound effects. Going for it. I like Hannonbow. That's not a real tree. That's not a leaf. Why, when you hit the leaf, does it go up and down? Real leaves just fall off. A lot of characters have reflectors in this game, and most of them make sense. But what about the ones where uh. some guy can kick back any projectile? Even the ability to kick back lasers. Listen, that's Kazuya, okay? That's Kazuya, bro. That is Mashima right there. Mashimas don't need to make sense. Technique. Even the ability to kick back a I, I thought that was weird too. I don't know why Kazuya can do that. Yeah, they got magic. They got magic shoes. I don't know. Except Kazuya's barefoot. Or even able to deflect balls of aura. Mm. So the real okay, question I is, can't explain Mei Mei. Feet even made of? I can't now explain Mei Mei. It's one thing to be able to somehow reflect all these projectiles. Oh, she, but what? how are Villager and Isabel able to grab a projectile? Oh, but put in that pocket. In pocket for later use? They got big pockets. Have you seen cargo short pockets? You can stick like a whole Nintendo Switch in there or like a carton of orange juice. There's literal thunder even. Have you played Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing, they could put anything in them pockets. What's with the ledges in the 75M stage? Certain characters just can't even grab onto some of them. Oh, They'll really? Just weirdly teleport back to a platform. Oh, just look how ridiculous interesting. this looks. Damn, look at that magnet hand. Yup. Yeah, so you land, but you, the platform's there, so it eats you up. It's silly, but it makes sense. Yeah, that that doesn't make sense. I I I, I can't explain anything to you. On the one street that you're fighting on, I mean, the rest of the city just looks like a ghost town. No cars or people in sight. And it's a busy it's street. Or something. Then the question would be, why did you guys choose to fight on the one street with cars on it? Upon closer inspection, I noticed the cars don't actually hit the characters on this stage. The cars are clearly on the road, while the characters are clearly on the grass so <laughs> is the wind from the cars so strong that they're getting hurt from that yeah bro he going mad fast villager hell is the axis villager in this game is actually a remarkable gardener he is somehow able to plant a tree growing life into any surface of his choice i'm talking about metal surfaces with no sunlight or deserts where no other life forms can grow so this guy is just a god yeah he's he's literally a god normally trees take like dozens of years to grow so doing it in about 60 frames is pretty good the guy is all powerful and all knowing. I don't know what. <laughs> Villager is a man of many talents. In the description of the Master Ball item, it says that only legendary or mythical Pokemon can be in the Master Balls. So then, how come you can get a Goldeen or a Zorark from a Master Ball when they are both just normal Pokemon? Because it's funny. And what's Zorark's excuse? He's not mythical or legendary. What's going? I mean, Zorark on the show, they were they they were kind of preaching that he was like a le like a pseudo legendary, right? If you watch Pokemon the intro song, like I want to be the very best, bro. Like literally, Rapidash is flying, like he's a legendary. So like some Pokemon's are just considered legendary. So I guess Zorark maybe, but Goldeen is a troll. Yeah. And Zorark is because he can transform into other Pokemon because he has transform, right? Or that's his ability. So he's like pretending to be the legendaries. Peach's counter. I've always wondered just what I was even looking at. First of all, that's just Toad fungus, just right? Out of nowhere. He's not even a human shield anymore. So Peach still takes the That's hit a JoJo stand. Taking damage somehow. Is that a canon in any game? I don't think so. He's oh. never been that mad. Nobody's ever tried to harm the princess actively. You can't fight Toad because Toad's going to spray you. How do all of these characters perform a variety of different moves while Athleticism. on a ladder? Even moves that require all four of your limbs to use, yep. and yet you still cling on to the ladder somehow. They are infinitely more athletic than we can ever be because it's a video game. So they're just their core strength is so high they can just stay in the air. 
that's, that's good. That's funny. Also, how come Snake C4 is totally indestructible? I mean, it's an explosive device. It should blow up with other explosives, but no. Regardless of how many explosions are near it, it'll just keep intact. Yeah, that's, that's though, crazy. That Honestly, that's super true. I can't explain that to you. I'm sorry. Pretty sweet move where you transform into some sort of rock. Which yeah. Protects you from most hits. Acting like some impenetrable fortress. Yeah, you got the spike. Well, um, you can grab is, it, can't you? You just grab him. Yeah, you can just. Breaks this defense he created. So the rock protects him from giant sword swings. But if you go up and go boop, it breaks boop. right through. That's why you got banned grapplers, bro. Grapplers are, are bad. If I stabbed a rock with a sword, nothing would happen. The sword might break if my form was terrible. If I pick up the rock, it's now in my hand. I could throw it. I don't know what else you could do with a rock. Eat it? <laughs> if it's small enough, I, I, you can't. I would throw the rock. It's because it's a disguise. When you get grabbed, you go, you get flustered, right? Kirby's not expecting to get grabbed, so then he's shaken out of his little, his little, you know, stupor, and it's like, oh right, I'm a person, not a rock. Characters can crouch walk or crawl while others can't. This one just seems really random. Bro, Simon is, is funny. I didn't realize the Belmont. Oh, I guess that makes sense. The Belmonts can do it. It's this strange Some of them are athletes. It's not even like it's based on a character's athletic ability or anything like this. Unbelievable. Surely everyone else could do something similar. No, no, that's. Are we going to act like Wario is not athletic? I hate it when people say this. Hold on. I need to show you something. Wario isn't athletic, huh? L. Fat L. Who else could do this? A vertical 180, you're upside down, and then you do a one. Oh, it's just a full rotation. It's what? It's really only one rotation? I thought he did several. Well, still, you're doing 180 vertical, and then 360 horizontal, and then 180 vertical again. That's crazy. This dude is an Olympic diver. Wario is mad funny too. How does the Pokemon trainer, who's not even a fighter really, survive all the different hazards from the many <laughs> dangerous stages that the characters fight on? It's just anime protagonist energy. That's all it is. Easy, simple. That one makes sense. And mm. does it all well? Just chilling on some random platform. That's literally why he's stage, for example, he's out of danger. There are constant lava waves, uh -huh. one being so huge it damages all the fighters who aren't in this tiny little Uh <laughs> Uh <laughs> through the lava. You understand that Pokémon trainer like pretty much we just call him Ash, or we just call him Ash, Red Ash whatever. He took on a Mewtwo attack and turned to stone and came back to life. If they were able to do that, my man can get go through lava. He takes Pikachu's Thunderbolts. He takes Charizard's Flamethrowers. He takes uh, Squirtle's, you know, Water Gun attacks. He takes all the attacks. So this is this is easy for him. I mean, if you as a Pokemon trainer can catch Macargo, who's like 10 times hotter than the surface of the sun, which is hotter than lava and magma, I think you can handle a little wave of some hot plasma. Easy, simple. How does Easy. Every character have the ability to phase their body right through various surfaces, like floors of houses or grassy rock cliffs, <laughs> are not a problem. That one's true. That is inconsistent. Yeah. How come there is always a crowd cheering? Like every character gets a little chant, but where exactly is the crowd cheering them on? They're watching it from. A, they're watching it from the YouTube video and Twitch streams. From behind the screen, it's us. We're we're cheering for them. That's what it is. Please we are the audience. Them on. Dude, the cheers are so bad in these games. They were so good in Melee and Brawl. Why does Krom have the coolest chant out of all the characters, too? Damn, let's go, Krom. First, I mean, if you watch the WWE pre like during the pandemic, they had like little screens of everybody. So yeah, it's, it might be like that. It might be like How that. Is every character able to throw any other character extreme distances regardless of the size and weight of them. You'll have this tiny electric rat that can just yeet this giant <laughs> yeet. little dragon across the stage. I mean, Mario can do that in Mario 64. So like, realistically, no one's that heavy in Smash. They got good grip though. 
Yeah, that's just, that's why the damage is there. You throw harder when they're at high damage. That's it. This next one is actually a complaint I have with this game, and it doesn't make sense either. And that is, how come there aren't any controllable final smashes anymore? Okay, there's a few minor controllable ones, like aiming a punch, but what happened to actually being able to play as Giga Bowser in Brawl? That was cool. control the actual landmass? Yeah, I like, I love now that. just cut scenes. I forgot about that one. Oh my god, Landmaster used to be so broken. Oh my god, it was so good. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably just easier to program. Like, you don't have to program a whole mini game of, like, I'm in the car now. You know, the R-Wing or, or the, the tank or whatever. With Pokemon Trainer, how do the other Pokemon take damage when they're not even on the battlefield? Ooh, Squirtle could be out here that's a good one. Going up Emotional damage, because they're seeing their friend get beat up. How are they seeing their friend get beat up while in the Pokeball? Shush. That's how. Stress. They see their teammate getting beat up and they get really worried. They're in there just anxious as hell in the Pokeball like, oh, he's getting beat up. Oh, I don't know what to do. It's all just mental damage. And yet when you change to Ivysaur, who's been chilling in his Pokeball the whole time. That's a good one. 100% too and gets launched super easily. I'm What's sorry. Up What's up with Mr. Game & Watch's throw? In an instant, Magic. he can crumple down any player into this tiny ball, and that's a scary enough ability as is, but then these ball icons will always stay visible to the actual player. I didn't know that. Bro, why is a dog player, on the screen? Even if an, oh, I didn't even notice that. That was, that's good. If a Nintendog is blocking your view, I'd never seen the Nintendog see your thing. crumpled up player through the dogs. That's hilarious. We can't introduce Game & Watch. Like, it's, he exists in a different reality. He's on a different plane. What is with the sides of these stages in Mario Bros or Balloon Fight? If you walk- Uh-oh! Fake gamer alert! Sides, Wait, how does that work? If you walk too far on one of the sides, then you'll teleport to the other side. But if you get knocked off, then- Yeah, that's weird. You'll die instead. So that's how it is in the games! But if you get knocked off- then you'll die instead. So it's all about controlling your character. When you lose control at the pipe, you just explode. What's also weird is that if you push a character, you normally won't be able to get past him unless you push him through these portals. Okay, that's weird. That's very weird. I didn't know that that happened. <laughs> I have never seen that. That's really funny. I like that a lot, actually. How is Dr. Mario not an Echo Fighter of, well, Mario? And we can see this by selecting the menu layout that stacks Echo Fighters on top of each other, yet Dr. Mario is still totally separate. <laughs> characters that have about the same amount of yeah, and Ken. or even less compared to Mario versus Dr. Mario are considered Echo Fighters. Dude, the Echo Fighter thing is so weird i mean dr mario and mario are, are they play very differently so that's not crazy but like uh, it's the whole thing is weird i i think sakurai just actually made a mistake because remember he made this big presentation about echo fighters and how they were this big deal and in introducing you know different versions of characters and then he only made those <laughs> i think he just forgot i think doctor be considered an echo fighter just saying why is everybody so tiny when playing on the Pikmin stages? These are all obviously from the Pikmin games, where you play as a character half the size of a GameCube disc. Because it's cute. Simply just cute. Yeah. So the only character to scale is Olimar, whereas everyone else is smaller than a crab. <laughs> this guys, is a great video. I love this. Below, I'll... A couple of them really didn't make sense. That's like 27 down. This was a great video. I actually loved every second about this. I, I wish there was a fighting game version of this, but uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy it or if, or if you guys know or did not know some of this stuff, leave a comment below. What do you guys think? Hit the like, share, subscribe, uh, turn on the bell notification, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. See you next time. Bye.